Houston Station on Space to Ground. Another astronaut record broken. Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Gary Jordan. After successfully departing from the International Space Station and landing in Kazakhstan, NASA astronaut Jeff Williams sets a new record. Williams, along with Russian cosmonauts Alexei Ovchinin and Oleg Skripochka, landed in the open fields of Kazakhstan less than four hours after departing the ISS earlier this week. Wrapping up 172 days in space and contributing to hundreds of experiments in biology, biotechnology, physical science, and earth science aboard the orbiting complex. Williams broke the record for most cumulative days in space by a U.S. astronaut, setting the bar at a total of 534 days. The door to the station's new expandable module was opened once more to check in on what's going on inside for the past three months. Before he left the station, Jeff Williams with NASA astronaut Kate Rubens entered the Bigelow Expandable Activity Module, or BEAM, for the first time since June. They collected data on radiation and impact analysis and also took some air samples and surface samples before closing the hatch. BEAM was installed on the International Space Station on April 16th of this year and fully expanded on May 28th. This week's question comes from Gunzwanzling, epic name, who asks, what is the advantage of sequencing DNA in space? Well, one of the biggest advantages of sequencing in space versus returning samples to Earth is time. Last week, Kate Rubin sequenced DNA in space for the very first time with a handheld device called the MinION. Microbes can be detected in flight and remediation strategies for crew members' health can be made real time. It also allows astronauts to monitor these changes during their long stays in space. Keep sending us your questions using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.